brand new word problem. We're trying it out. Let's go through it step by step. Everybody remind me in the chat box, first step in every word problem is to do what? Thank you, right? We all know the first step. Now let's execute that first step. So it's read the question. So with that said, my follow-up question is, okay, what does the question tell you to find? What is the question telling us to find? This is total fundraiser posters, how many posters, how many fundraisers left, how many total, how, how much fundraisers are there now, how many fundraiser. So it sounds like not, not, not everybody here has a total grip on the question. So let's read it together and let's see if we can kind of mold a little bit about what we're thinking is the right way to do it. Let's see. So right here it says, hey, um, how many fundraiser posters are there now? Right. That's one sentence. How many fundraiser posters are there now? So is it fair to everybody that when you see again, how many, and then we see fundraiser posters, we're just looking for blank posters. Then it says now, and that's a big keyword. So blank posters now, is that fair to say? If I were just to shorthand that in three words, we're looking for the number of posters that there are now. Hey, that's okay, Jessica. That's okay. Now that because this is the part of the growth. So um, everyone, for those of us on YouTube, that are, you know can't see the comment section. A student here just said, "Hey, look, I realize I might have messed up based on the wording." Now, I wouldn't be worried. I would actually be happy that when you practice, you notice a mistake. Because if you don't realize a mistake while you practice, then you're likely not to realize it on the test. So Jessica, you're good. I'm glad that you realize it now and not never. Because now we're going to take advantage of that learn and make progress. Before we continue, just want to take a quick moment to thank you for watching this video. And all I ask is that you please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. That way more people just like you can see these videos. But on top of that, if you're looking for more ways to practice the right way and raise your score with guidance without stressing, then I really wholly 100% recommend my ASVAB All Access program. The program, long story short, helps you watch, practice, and master every topic from the word knowledge to paragraph comprehension, arithmetic reasoning, math knowledge, general science, it's there and it's designed to help you succeed with practicing the right way. So with that said, check out the link in the description to see how it all works because you're gonna have ways to learn in every way that you prefer. And you get my guidance and my support all the way until you pass. So don't hesitate, stop feeling nervous and being anxious and letting yourself feel that way when there's a solution waiting right here for you. Check out the link in the description. That way you see how it works. And then reach out to me if you have any questions about it. Let's get back to raising our scores. So here we go. We're looking for, again, you just got to read the question carefully. How many fundraiser posters are there now? Okay. So simply, we're talking about fundraiser posters. I'm just looking for how many we have right now. Let's read the information, write it down, and let's find out any information that has to do with what? Fundraiser posters. And there might be a timeline because we're saying the word now. So maybe we're talking about the future or the past. Who knows? But there's a timeline here that we got to figure out. So let's see what's going on here. Next up. Yesterday. Oh, look at that right there. So think about it, everybody. The moment that you saw that this question said, how many fundraiser posters now? And this question starts off with yesterday. Does it sound like you're going to have to make a little timeline and figure out what happens start to finish? Does it sound like something like that's going to happen? Right? It definitely sounds like that. If you're looking for how many of something that there are now and you're starting to talk about yesterday, well, then you got to make a connection here. There's some sort of connection and there it is. So let's start off here. It says yesterday there were 63 finished fundraiser posters. So let's just write that down here. Yesterday. We had 63 finished posters. Okay, sounds good. Then next up, what do we see? Well, it says, hey, uh, during school today, oh, look at that, today, three classes made posters. And then it says, each class made six posters. Okay, so 
What does that mean? Let's write that down in purple. Today says three classes made posters. And then it says each class made six posters. So uh, six each. Okay. So uh, everyone, uh, what do you think we're supposed to do here? You know, are we supposed to do 63 times three times six, 63 plus three plus six? What are we supposed to, what are we supposed to be doing here? So I see multiply six times three. I see some of us saying add, add the class posters. Okay, 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 multiply six times three. So if, for those of us that are saying multiply, multiply the six times three, you're correct, you're right. But let's back it up. Why? Why are we supposed to multiply six times three? Taylor, love that. Jessica, another reason there. Zachariah, Dwayne, yep, exactly. Yeah, the, the word each. The word each, which translates to per. Yeah, that's that's it right there. That's it right there. So let's let's write that out here. Each, the word each again gives it away. Let me use a highlighter instead of just coloring that in. But the word each gives it away. Each class six posters. The word each means that you're multiplying those two things that you're talking about. So when it says again, each class made six posters. What you're doing is you're basically saying, take the number of a class, which is three, take the number of posters, which is six, and you will multiply. And when you get three times six, everyone, what does three times six give us? 18, that's 18 posters. Everybody, why is 18 not the final answer? Why don't we see it there? Why don't we see 18 as the answer? Right, because we're not done yet. What did we forget about? Right, we forgot that there were already 63 posters that were made yesterday. So that's 18 posters today. That's 18 posters today. And we see that we had 63 posters yesterday. So we have 63 there, 18 today. How do we get the grand total? Add them. We'll add them all up and now we can get a confident answer. And my last bad part of people, just like this free video that you're watching, I have more free materials for you and there's no excuse for you not to get them. I have a free practice test that comes with video solutions so you can learn from every single mistake. And on top of that, I have a free class on Zoom once a week, every single week for two hours. So imagine that. You got more free materials than just this YouTube video right over here. Let's keep pushing forward. Sign up right now and I'll see you in the next class. Let's get started. So 63 plus 18, three plus eight is 11, six plus one is seven, carry the one is eight. And so we have 81 total posters. And I know my big old head's in the way, but there it is. That's why B is the answer. So the biggest thing here, the word each. I can tell you right now, I know a lot of us deal with word problems on a daily basis, and we don't know what to do with the word each, right? The thing is, the word each, just like the word per, it connects two ideas. And the word each, honestly, the majority of the time, will mean multiplication, okay? Unless you're working backwards from the word each, that's division. But for the most part, everybody, each identifies the product or multiplying two things together. So essentially, let's write that down right over here at the top. The word each, basically, it signals that you are multiplying two ideas. It connects. That's the easiest way that I can kind of say that. So go ahead and write that down there. Each basically signifies multiplying the two ideas it connects. I'm going to put a colon here. 
So you can kind of make that distinction there. So again, each basically signals that you're multiplying the two ideas that they connect. So for example, if I say that, you know, I earn $45 each hour. Well, if I earn 45 bucks an hour and I work five hours, multiply them and you get the total amount of money. I think that's something that we can all really agree on, right? If we say, hey, um, you know, each class made six posters. Well, that means that every class counts as six. So if you're looking at class one or class A, they made six posters. Class B made six posters. Class C made six posters. Well, you add them up, everybody. What's six added by itself three times? What is that going to be? 18, right? Six added with six, added with another six. That's going to be 18. Six, 12, 18. And we're feeling pretty good about that. So again, the word each is just a shorthand way of saying multiply. Um, and the two ideas that you connect are what you're multiplying. Just like that. And before you go, if you like what you saw and you want to raise your score with thousands of practice problems just like that, so you can lower that test anxiety, raise that confidence, go to this link right here to check out the full program. There's a video that shows you exactly how it works, but you're going to get lessons, guided practice, worksheets, speed drills, and everything that you need to feel supported from day one all the way until you pass. Again, I'm Coach Anderson, and I'll see you soon.